regardless of whether you, you do the operation open, laparoscopic, or robotic, the risks are very comparable one to the next in general. The degree may be different, but the, the types of risks are very similar. There is a risk of bleeding, typically low in the single-digit range, 1 to 2 percent. There's a risk of infection, whether it's in the incisions or in the abdomen, because the colon's not clean. It's got bacteria, even when we do a cleanse. There's a risk of injury to adjacent organs, including small intestine, bladder, the tube that carries urine to the bladder called the ureters. And in the pelvis, there's a risk of nerve injury, nerves that are in the area of the rectum. Now, what's nice about robotic surgery is the improved visualization and dexterity allows us to see those structures better and preserve them with less injury. Whenever you're doing minimally invasive surgery, whether it's laparoscopic or robotic surgery, there's always the chance that we can't proceed with that minimally invasive technique and I'll have to convert to open surgery to complete the operation, remove that segment of colon, that mass, that polyp, whatever. And the chance of having to convert back to the traditional open surgery is less with robotic surgery than it is with laparoscopic surgery.